Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today is lucky number day 13 uh, without Kratom. Doing well today. Today's probably been, uh, I don't know, maybe the best day as far as how I physically feel and everything. The best I've felt since I've quit, really. Um, got a good amount of sleep last night. I'm still just waking up like soaked and I'm at the point now where I'm learning to like almost uh keep a clean shirt near me in bed because it does it makes me like not want to get up when you you know you get up and your nerves are buzzing and you're now now it's a cold sweat stuck to you and all that it makes me, it makes it really hard to get out of bed so I've been keeping a clean shirt like on my nightstand <laughs> ready to go it does help me get out of bed in the morning and then um Yesterday, after I got home from work, um, my son wanted to go play video games with his friend, so I let him do that for a couple hours, so that gave me some time to do. I kind of did like a mini biathlon. I did a five-mile bike ride and then went inside and then jumped on the treadmill and ran four miles and um, felt, felt really good after that. And I really, I, I felt like really calm for the rest of the day. And that kind of like carried over even into this morning. When I woke up, I felt, you know, that, that feeling of almost like when, you know, if you've, if you've worked out really hard or you've worked a 16 hour day, like you couldn't even be angry if you tried, you know, you're just so beat and you're just, but it's, it's like you're, you're peacefully kind of beat. That's how I felt yesterday. And then going into today. So I feel good. Um, just getting into work now. Um, going to a quitting Kratom support group meeting tonight. Uh, I always try to Sunday night, try to talk to some, you know, at least make one recovery call, talk to somebody else that's in, uh, in recovery for a little while. So I'll probably do that tonight. I know we, we lucked out here. We, anybody in early recovery, we got a 23 hour day today. So what a nice little gift, right? We, uh, got a free hour of recovery. Think of all the lovely, horrible things we could have done with that hour. So, At this stage, you know, fast forwarding an hour, I'll take it. You know, when I'm clean and 80, no, I probably wouldn't be okay with it. But uh, oh, I'm going to run inside right now. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. I got a lot of, you know, a lot of good suggestions and a lot of uh, good comments as far as when I was maybe feeling a little bit down yesterday, and uh, that really did help, and um, yeah, I just kind of had to, I was having a little bit of a pity party to start the day, to be to be honest, uh, and it's not, you know, uh, when you start deluding yourself into thinking that, like, you're a victim of life or whatever, that really is the beginning of, uh, or that, at least for me, puts me kind of on the first step towards maybe relapse if, if I don't uh, handle that or snap out of it or kind of really understand what's going on, um, you know, because then that, you know, you're, that's how the pathology is set in your brain. That's why people, I mean, how many times have you heard of somebody saying they started a fight with their wife just so they could go use or they, you know, you, you lay the foundation for um, resentment because then you're going to go out and you're going to show them. And so, uh, you know, that's why it's, it's really important. That's why I appreciate everybody saying, you know, what they said to me and everything yesterday and just kind of being positive encouraged me because it, it helped get me out of that pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah, that sour mood uh, in early recovery, that could really, I mean, that could be lighting the fuse. So good to be out of that mode. Much more, uh, I don't know, I had to adopt an attitude of gratitude, as somebody I know says. That is actually, he's a very wise man. So got to be thankful. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, my phone number is actually going to be in the uh, description of this video. I wanted to throw it out there. And, and just so we're clear, like, I'm, you know, I would really have to, like, check my conscience if, like, if, uh, you know, if I was asked for any advice or, any, or asked to give any advice or anything like that. I mean, because, you know, I've been around this stuff for forever. I've been around the recovery communities and everything forever. But, you know, I'm still... The end of the day, not even two weeks clean. And, uh, um, you know, early on, you got to put the oxygen mask on yourself first, you know. But um, 
Uh, I want to throw it in the description just in case if anybody stumbles across these videos in the future. It, it, it actually, and they just want to vent or they, you know, they're scared to tell their significant other or they've been hiding this from their whole family for years. Trust me, it helps even if they're a stranger just to have either, you know, text it or have the words come out of your mouth. And, you know, when I go to meetings and everything now and, you, you know, you introduce yourself as, hi, I'm Brian, I'm an addict or I'm an alcoholic. And you take that for granted now. It's just, you know, it's just the thing that you say. But early on, when that phrase first escapes your lips, it's so profound. And it becomes very clear why they, you know, they have you introduce yourself like that. To have that phrase come out of your mouth of, I am an alcoholic. I am. I can't deny it. I need help, you know, and some people think that that's, uh, you know, say, oh, that, that's awful that they do that. You know, I, I, I'm so much more than an alcoholic. I don't like to define myself as an addict or an alcoholic. It's like, well, they don't have you introduce yourself as I'm Brian and I'm nothing but an alcoholic. You know, I'm a lot of things. You know, I'm a father. I'm a caring person. I'm a supportive husband. And I also am an alcoholic or I am I'm an addict. So, uh. You know, if, if anybody out there ever needs to vent or, you know, or maybe they don't know what they got themselves into and they're, and they're really trying to figure something out or, uh, you know, they're just down and they just want to talk to somebody. So, uh, and the next goes for anybody, anybody, anytime, shoot me a text or give me a call, whatever. I will uh, get back to people, but, um, I don't know, just wanted to do that. I had the thought back to like early on. For some reason, I was thinking about that the other day, like when I first came into the program, and just uh, you, you, you could be on a run for ten years, completely self deluded, completely, um, you know, buying into your own crap that what you're doing is okay and what you're doing is fine and it's not, you know, it's healthy or whatever, and then um. You know, one day it clicks in your, even in your own head where you're like, you, you, even you can't, you can't deny it to yourself anymore. And then when you get into that, that mode and you're still hiding it, that's when you just start digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And a lot of times, at least for myself, that's when I start going harder into substances and all that stuff. Because now it's like, now I see what's happening and I can't stop it and I hate it now. So just to even talk to somebody else of like, just to just say that phrase like, man, I have a problem. That, you know, that really is the first step. That's the, the, the you know, the awakening. And uh, once you start waking up, it's almost impossible to go back to sleep. You can go back to sleep for little periods. You can go on little runs and pretend like this isn't um, a big deal. But you'll always wake up now. And... Uh, once you wake up, it's very scary, you know, so if anybody ever needs to talk about anything or, or whatever, um, yeah, it should be available, but, uh, all right, I'm going to go run in the office. Hope everybody has a good night. I think we're supposed to get snow tonight. So that is Chicago for you, but it's supposed to warm up pretty quick after that. So no big deal, but, uh, all right guys. Love you.